Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? I mean, uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. Bingo. Nailed it, Nia. I was going to say exactly that, pretty much. When we last ventured amongst the star field, Sunfire had made his way to Aquila City with Sam Ko in tow, as we hoped to advance our questline with him a little bit. We ended up stopping a thief, stealing weapons from the Laredo Arms shop, spotted by a young child who turned out to be the daughter of the person we need to talk to to join the rangers, so we got roped into becoming a deputy, heading to a world where there was Wagoner Farms and a strange crew of men who seemed to have some sort of ulterior motive. Unfortunately, they all died. Strangely, they were allergic to bullets. And now we have made our way back to Aquila City to find out what job we can do next, but also to talk to Sam as he has a, a bit of dialogue for us. So let's find out. Welcome back, by the way, to Starfield. Yeah, Sam. Sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Sure. Well, what do you want to tell me? You, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Ooh. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. <sighs> I mean, not, why, yeah, why are you doing on my ship? On a small ship, everyone hears everything. Well, that statement's going to keep me up at night. Like, everything, everything? Yeah, everything, Just everything. So you know, there's a long, <laughs> um, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian, she's an incredible woman. Truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. When she bleeds, Freestar colors. Yeah, hey, you want me to join and the Freestar Rangers? Rangers? You were quite the team. So, that must be a story about behind, behind why you stopped being a ranger. Yeah, I'm meant to be on my own. Exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one mm, day... Fair enough. I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. So I tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind. Come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. But she was probably right. I mean, if you were that unhappy, you did the right thing. Eh, we were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. Mm. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger. Traveling with you. I mean, we are in space That's battles on the regular. Me. She's kind of got a Before point. Just blossoming with all this, with Sarah, you, heck, even Walter. I just know, Cora has futures I could never dream of. But Lillian, not so much a fan of you. That kind of set me off. Um. <sighs> Separation sounds like so much fun. Yeah. They should have t-shirts for it and everything. <laughs> I mean, Lillian loves Cora to pieces. But Cora's been stood up a time or two by Lillian. Always for the best reasons. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But at a certain point, Lillian's excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. I mean, Lillian's a part of her life. It's not healthy to keep them apart. You are just too damn wise for your own good. Yeah. <laughs> well, something to think about. And for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. So everyone can sleep easy. Fair enough. Alright. I guess we go back to the rock. I'm so glad that everything's running nicely. I've had so many issues with the computer of late. Okay. And it's all just... I don't know, stupid, stupid shit? Like, it's just... All the random updates that you get, it just seems to mess with... You do not everything. Oh, a new mission. Mr. Yeah. Tate, huh? Bless zone. Alright, sounds like there's a, quite an extensive bit of explosives going on there. But yeah, Oblivion, for one. Like, I don't know why Oblivion is causing me so many issues at the moment. 
It's it's not like it was with Fallout New Vegas. It's not crashing all the time or anything like that, but it's just clunky. And it constantly resets the settings. Uh, it, it's frustrating to no end. But we seem to have got it back up and running again, which is good. Okay, it's nice when things work. Not so nice when they don't. Okay, so we're going to talk to the head honcho again, are we? Oh, uh, where is the head honcho? There is another stairwell, right? Yeah, there we go. Marshall. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Miss Wagner is safe, that's the important thing. For the time being, yes, but she could still be in danger. That's why we need to fill in some blanks. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Organized? Tough and well armed? Probably mercenaries. If that's true, then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Yeah, the slate. How'd someone steal a ship? Hope tech ships ain't exactly cheap. No, I know they're not. That I bought one. That could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Free Star militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The First Cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it, anyway. Finding the Starship Thief that those men hired is our best lead. Hell, it's our only lead. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just if we talk to him, I feel like we have. Good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Okay. That won't be a problem, sure. Good. The last thing I need is the Council breathing down my <laughs> This is your assignment. May have put our foot in it there, haven't we? Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. Cool, sounds good. Job's done. Oh, she's Sam. Can I get out the door? Oh, Sam, stop it, please. Don't pull a... Oh, thank you. Don't pull a Vasco. Right, in fact, why are we even doing that? Let's go to missions and just go straight to Polvo's orbit. Already finished. Mayday! Mayday! This is Free Star Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, systems failing. Need help. I repeat, need help. Welcome to the Free Star Collective. Please maintain your current course while we scan your ship. All right, we're done. Welcome to Hope Town. That's all good. I am sorting out the ship first. Docking. help will they need? Oh shit. Hey! Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. I'm here to help. I'm a ranger deputy. No, I'm the new. I'm not going to do that. Steal this piece of junk. The repair bill would eat up my profits. No, I'm the new deputy. I'll just pretend I didn't hear that. <laughs> I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. 
bastards got the drop on me. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. I'll see if I can get you fine again. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. I'm on it. Thanks. I owe you one. So repair it, huh? Uh oh. Whoop. Interesting ship design. We've got a brig on here too. Nice. One down. Let's turn this way. This is a quite extensive ship, really, isn't it? Got one up there too, but let's drop down here first. It's all good. Man, I'm an expert at repairing stuff. I thought we'd have to use a little bit more to that, right? Okay, let's go up the ladder here too. Then we got one more thing here. Ooh. There you go. Don't let me drop down. There we go. Snooze, you lose, Sam. We're off. Thanks. That should get me home. Um, does that all ships still need to be dealt with? You're right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. Where'd they go? Can't let that happen. Just tell me where they're headed. I'll handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Hmm, okay. Oh, we can't fast travel in here. Of course, we're in somebody else's ship. That's how you get. That's how you get star stations stuck to your ship, isn't it? Okay, maybe not. Let's just grab the ladder. Okay, never mind. Yeah, I I am glad that we've got our ship where we don't need ladders because honestly, they are just kind of infuriating. I kind of wish we didn't have the animation. We just do the. Skyrim and Oblivion thing of just teleporting. Let's get to our cockpit, shall we? Sometimes I just want to turn off the grab drive so we can float around. Please don't, Cora. I've got all my shit on here. Have to be chasing all my books and collectibles and stuff. Ship's no longer docked. We're right. We haven't been to the Polvo station, I don't think either. Let's go to Iafa. Find this set of ships that need obliterating. Two more to go, maybe. Very low level ships. How did your ship get damaged by that, Nia? Right, go to Hope Town, huh? We've not really had a good look around Hope Town either. 
We've been and looked at ships. I bought one there, and I also, I think, do we talk to somebody for one of the main quest things as well? Can't remember what we did, but we talked to somebody there anyway. Well, the wrenches actually do have an office here. Nice. Ron hopes the best thing that happens. It does feel awfully like oh hey Nia. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble. Not those babies. No trouble. Good. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. Sure. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Ooh, anyway, interesting. Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Well, let's go meet him. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. See, they've got quite an interesting uniform. Truck is that because they're a full-blown ranger and we're a deputy? <laughs> Their motto always cracks me up. Ron Hope isn't just the founder and president of Hope Tech. If Ron Hope came up with that, he does sound like a kind of a chill dude. Oversees the Free Star Rangers, so don't rile him up. I'll try. A long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town owes him for their livelihood. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. True. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. <sighs> All right, I'll do my best. I think the rangers are going to find out pretty quick. I've got a pretty big gob on me. All the way up. Is it just me, or does every executive in the settled systems have an office on the top floor? I uh, mean, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're. Well, above everyone. Bingo. Nailed it, Nia. I was going to say exactly that, pretty much. Surprisingly, not as many windows as I would have thought there would be. I guess I could offer double shifts. They don't push payroll pretty high, but I think it's a worthwhile trade-off. As for parts, we could try outsourcing. Do a contract with scavengers, maybe. That's a decision that's got to be made upstairs. Uh, talk to Elaine about the scavengers. It's not a bad idea, provided we get a good deal. And Is I it Wes Johnson? I mean a good deal. Remember, it's not just our bottom line. It totally is. We're also responsible for the welfare. Stop! You violated the law. We look out for our. That's a point of great personal pride. Yeah, it totally is. And um, excuse me. Such uh, a distinctive oh. voice. Well now, the Free Star Rangers. At last. <laughs> ah, damn. Good to see you, Nia. I think we're done here, Burchett. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Splendid. Curtsy. Splendid. <laughs> it's a noble calling. Star Ranger. Mm. I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad you think that. You. Let's have a talk to him. He seems like a nice guy. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. I found your stolen ship on Montara Luna. That's good news. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Not at all. I've been told to watch my mouth. Yes, sir, Mr. Hope, you can count on me. I'm glad we understand each other. I'd take Ron Hope over Benjamin Bayou any day of the week. Yeah, that's that's Looks a good like point. Got a job to do. Neon's a mess. Now, 
Tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Uh, should we try to acquire a farm? Yeah, of course I do. Uh, a group of mercenaries hired a thief to steal his ship. The ship was delivered to a group of men who were trying to acquire a farm. Though what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. Well, I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Why didn't anyone report the theft? Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. Oh, I'm enough. in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems who would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Okay, fair enough. Though the thief had inside help, know anything about that? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. Can't hurt. Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Appreciate it. Um, did anyone see the thief? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems that's to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. Mm, yeah, well, anything unique about the stolen ship? No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo holder. Not that it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Yeah, I think we're done here. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men, women, and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. You've got a reputation for looking after your own, Mr. Hope. I'm sure the deputy here will keep that in mind. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I've worked hard to make sure that everyone here is well cared for. You can count on my discretion, uh, Mr. Hope. I'm glad we understand one another. Interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Not now, Cosette. Let's just drop a save here because I think it might be nice to get a screenshot. Actually, we could do that now. What am I on about? This isn't um, Skyrim. But, sir, we have no one. Let's do that now. Um, just a nice one of uh, Ron Hope. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon just after the theft. Ah. A breakthrough at last. So we're well, off to Neon, are we? Deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Sounds like a plan to me. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. Hey, can I get a word? Sure. Stuck in a chair. Uh, uh, uh. The application list. That wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. It's helpful enough. It was enough to go on. Yeah, there we go. 
So, guess we've really leaned into the detective There's stuff, haven't we? There. Help Barrett out, and then suddenly it's our whole persona. He's a little different than the rest of us, but Neon's a different kind of place. Hmm, it is. I've spent time on Neon. I know how different it can be. Good. That should help you avoid any unnecessary complications. Well, we've both got work to do. We do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out. Up no there. sweat, no sweat. Thanks for setting up the meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. Hmm, I think I might need it. Let's go. It's to Neon. They did talk actually in the update that they mentioned for the end of the year that it's going to be new transport things that are on the horizon. So whether that's we're going to get like buggies or cars or something, mechs that we can drive around. I'm not sure, but either way, excited to find out. Three Star Rangers Outpost. Let's see what they have to say. Who are you again? You are. Hey, I don't care who you work for. You can't just. Oh, you're the rookie, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Uh, you must be Ranger Price. The one and only. Well, the Marshal's message said you were following a lead about a stolen ship. Mm hmm. Truth That's me. Is, a lot of stolen goods flow through here, but this city is real good at keeping its secrets, even from us. I'm sure the people of Neon want to uphold the law. Yeah, about that. <laughs> this isn't the Kila City. The badge doesn't carry the same weight here. Maybe not. The people who run this place aren't overly concerned about the law. Our job is to keep the peace, make sure the violence doesn't get out of hand. Hmm. The last thing anyone around here wants is some hotshot deputy looking in every dark corner. Neon's a tough, tough assignment. The ecosystem is rigged against any real law enforcement. I won't cause trouble. Good. That's a smart play. As much as it rankles. Mm. Your stolen ship would have had to land at the spaceport. We bend the law on right several occasions, it's fine. It would have stood out. There's a guy I know, Billy Clayton, does maintenance work around the city and keeps an eye on ship traffic for me. I'll introduce you, but don't expect a favor. Even if it doesn't cause credits, nothing in Neon is free. All right, we'll take it to Billy Clayton then. Come on. You right there, Sam? Just charge at me. Seems every quest line that has any sort of ounce of crime always seems to come back to Neon, doesn't it? It's pretty impressive how you volunteered to help out with the bank heist in Aquila City. Yeah, I read all the reports. You learn quickly that in Neon, staying informed and staying alive are closely linked. What stood out to me was that you didn't lose a single hostage. No wonder the Marshal tried to recruit you right away. If he hadn't, it would have made him look like a fool having some random stranger step in and do the job he couldn't. Now, if someone tried to hold up a... Okay. We need to finish that conversation. Who? Are we froze? But you understand that, don't you? That's why you just told me. I don't me no, I don't understand that. You cut out. Keep that in mind, and you'll fit right in. Keep what in mind? You can't give me half a conversation and expect me to know what to do. What are you looking at? Yeah, what if we bump into our old gang members? They become cops, I become cops. He's got nothing else to say to me, no, he hasn't. Some sleep crate units available for rents, but have we been here? Like you, trust me. Hmm. 
Weiter auf jeden Fall, was ist denn das? Hey, Billy. You got a second? What? Oh, it's you. Give me a good scare. I thought you were one of Goodman's people. Sure. Far from it. Our new deputy here is working a case, and I thought you might be able to help. Take it away, rookie. Howdy doody. I'm looking for a thief skilled enough to steal a ship from a factory. A factory? <laughs> Damn, that's pretty impressive. Well, here's the thing. Neon's got no end of shipjackers. I see them come and go every day. It's tough for a guy to remember one from the other. You know what I mean? I can see where this is going. <laughs> Me too. Maybe this will jog your memory. Mm, credits ain't really what I need. There is something you could do for me. All right, fair enough. Spilling credits is always better than spilling blood. I can help you, but right now my life is in danger, and I haven't even done anything wrong. Oh, we got you. Free Star Rangers are supposed to protect the innocent, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's part of the job, yeah. Then you need to hear this. It's about my brother. He died while still in debt to a syndicate loan shark by the name of Emmett Goodman. Now, Goodman's coming after me to collect. He says if I don't pay up, I'm a dead man. This Emmett Goodman sounds like a real class act. <sighs> yeah. He's bad even by neon standards. <laughs> That's saying something. Fur. Um, I'll talk to the loan shark. But, uh, uh, you better make it worth my time. I swear it on my best set of wrenches. Goodman's holed up in one of the warehouses on Ebb's side. Place is locked up tight. But there's a guard who watches the door, and he's got the key. I'll stay with Billy in case Goodman's men come to collect. They're not stupid enough to tangle with me. Sounds like a plan, Jalen. All right, let's go to Ebb's side. I do like... Oh, hang on. Here we go. Underbelly. I do like Neon. Ticks all the boxes for me. Fun little town, all in a microcosm. In fact, we've got a new season of Minecraft coming up soon, and I've I've kind of got this idea that I want to build not like a scale replica for Neon, because this place is absolutely massive, but I want to build some oil rigs. You know, these these rigs out in the ocean. Anywhere else the fish processing plant would be no big deal. That's bad news. To the upper platform, huh? How do we get over there? This way. There we go. We've, we've figured it out. I do get lost here quite frequently. This is private property. You better keep walking. This is private property. Okay, well, I just need a quick word with you, boss. As long as you behave yourself and don't overstay your welcome, I don't see the harm in a quick visit. Here, yeah, this will get you in. We got the credits to splash around, we might as well. Who are you? Oh. Can't talk to you? Syndicate soldier. Okay. There's a few soldiers Just in here. Walking. But not too many. So if things do go south, we should be able to sort it out. But if they don't, then all a good. Customer, perhaps? Hey, Emma. Well, now. Always happy to have a visitor. Tell me, what brings you by, friend? Little light on credits, are you? I'm here about the debt you're trying to collect from Billy Clayton. Ah, it's awful kind of you to intervene on my behalf. But I think I have the matter well in hand. Thank you all the same for your concern. I can't tell if he's kidding or not. Billy can't pay the debt and you know it. Let this one go. If you're attempting to appeal to my good nature, you're proceeding under a false premise. 
You see, in my line of work, it doesn't exactly pay to be soft. What if I pay it? Can What's I pay it? What's your stake in this anyway? Uh, do we want to be mean to him? I'm kind of sick of his bullshit already. He's just slimy. He's a slimy character. The idea of putting some fear in a scumbag like you sounded like fun. If you think I'm afraid of some loudmouth deputy, you've got a lot to learn. Look, I'll repay the debt myself. Well, in that case, I'll consider the matter closed. You can tell Mr. Clayton he'll have no further trouble from me. As for you, well, I'm aware the Rangers have a reputation for goodness and nobility, but I'm surprised all the same. Well, I don't want to fight all your men, and I don't really just... It's all about a debt that's only 4,000 4, credits. I got that from a guard walking around just because I'd helped somebody else, which I probably got paid a couple of grand for as well. That's pittance. That's, that's like pocket change. Chump change. You better watch it. Well, that's all done. Let's get back and talk to the dude. Goodman, whatever his name. No, that was Emmett Goodman. What was the guy called? Sam? No. And we just talked to him. How do I not remember this shit? Be doing this. A Plaza. How do we get across there? Oh, these guys are still here. I think we can go up and round. We'll see. You can usually get across this platform. Oh, it's raining out. Ah, okay. Yeah, this is probably the quickest way. Right, where are you at? Aha, here we go. That was very nice and quick, wasn't it? Billy! There we go. Did you talk to Goodman? Yep, glad you did. You... You paid the whole thing off? That's... <laughs> A lot more than I was expecting. Thank you. I get the feeling you got other sources of income besides what you make as a deputy. Don't you know it? Okay. Time for me to keep my end of the bargain. The woman you're looking for is named Grace Early. Stealing ships is her line of work. She usually comes here to sell the goods. Rumor has it she just finished a job for some mercenary outfit. And she's been throwing money around. So is this the Ecliptics? The Ecliptics well. doing this shit? I know her. When she isn't out on a job, she's a regular at Madame Sauvage's. That's on the upper platform. I'll back you up. Sounds like a plan to me. I'm gonna go this way, actually. We know Madame Sauvage as well. And she's gonna be very confused. First we come in and join a gang, the next time we come in with the cops. Oh great. Hey. A freestyle ranger and his what are you? A sidekick or something? Pretty much, yeah. I I I'm free yeah, something like that, yeah. And that's what I call real conviction. <laughs> so how come I'm talking to the sidekick instead of the ranger? This is the deputy's case. Is that so? And you had to bring back up just for little old me? <laughs> I'm flattered. Anyway, this ain't my first interrogation, so let's just get on with it. Um... You had run-ins with the wall before. A time or two. Maybe more. And yet here I am, walking free. Well, look, I just need some information that could help save lives. Aww. Ain't you polite? 
I'm guessing this is the part where you tell me that you've got questions and that you expect me to answer them. That sound about right? Okay, don't play games. I know you stole the ship and you're going to tell me why. I know you stole the ship, but people might be in danger and I need your help. All right. So I jacked a ship. It was just a little I'm fun. I'm not here to arrest you or anything for that. I didn't even keep it. It was a job. I turned it over to some men and they took off for who knows where. End of story. Nothing I did put anyone in danger, okay? They were mercenaries who threatened a woman to get her farm. Hey, all I did was provide them with transportation. They didn't say anything about where they were going or why. Yeah, but I just need their names. I, mean, look, I wouldn't have gotten involved if I thought anyone would be hurt. I've got no love for violence. Not asking questions is just as bad as giving consent. If that woman had been killed, you'd be an accessory to murder. Did you think about that? I... No, I... I guess I didn't. I know small talk. Tell me what you know. Still time to make things right. Please help me. I do want to make things right. I was approached by a woman named Maya Cruz. Said she was a senior member of the first and that she had a job oh. for me. It's the first time. Uh, working with someone the, inside uh, Hope Tech and pitched me on the idea of jacking a ship right out of the factory. Not mercenaries, the we militia. We were the job when she had some kind of medical emergency. Hmm. She said she needed surgery and would be in recovery for a long time. That was a few weeks ago. I haven't heard from her since. Interesting. Go on. Not long after that, I got a message from a guy named Marco. He said he was the money man for the first, and he offered half up front. Never met him directly, though. It was always through intermediaries and using encrypted slates. Got the feeling he was paranoid as hell. Do you have one of those encrypted slates on you right now? Yeah. Here. Take it. I'm done with all this. Anything else you want to know? Anyone in the first give you a way to contact them? No. Nothing at all. Left me feeling a little disappointed, given how well they paid me. And did Marco ever give you his location? Not so much as a hint. I'll tell you, he's as cagey a fixer as I've ever met. Mm. Bankroll in the first must take a lot of money. I'm sure, he's got all kinds of side hustles going on. It's all right, so do I. And uh, what do you know about the men that you delivered the ship to? Nothing, really. I was told when and where to meet them. They paid me what I was owed, and that was it. Okay, that's all I need for now. I appreciate you, your cooperation. Yeah, sure. Next time you're at the Rock, you should give that encrypted slate to Ranger Alex Shadid. He's got a gift for cryptography. If anyone can crack that slate, it'll be him. I'm gonna head back. Good luck, Deputy. Oh, I guess we're heading back. Go. You're free. Oh, I fixed the help. Oh. Uh, you're welcome. Guess I ain't used to the law being so polite. Well, you know, I'm not, uh, you thought you'd call a traditional law enforcement agency. I've been in the brig more than once myself, haven't I? Hell, I got roped into the Crimson Fleet because of stealing something. Let's actually go to straight to Aquila, right? That's where we have to go next. Yeah, back to Aquila. I'm gonna hand this slate in and find out where we're supposed to be going next. Hope no one recognizes me here. Sam. <laughs> <laughs> you do it like you do this to yourself, man. You come to Aquila City, you walk around telling everybody out loud, including me. Oh, yeah, I wonder what my ancestor Solomon Co would think of this place. Yes, my ancestor Solomon Co. Well, I hope nobody recognizes me as Sam S Solomon Co's ancestor Sam Co. It's, it's, you've just got an ego. I swear he's got an ego. Just keep your gun holstered during your stay. 
I'm a freestyle ranger. I can walk around with my gun out if I want to, right? Actually, one of the patches I, I noticed on the update, one of the patches seemed to be to remove uh, the bug where security walk around without any clothes and weapons. So we, we probably won't be seeing uh, our, our lovely underwear-clad friends trying to keep the city of Aquila safe anymore. But that's fine. That's, it does happen. You know, it, it was a fun bug while it lasted, but I can see why they patched it out. Right, let's go find this... Uh, was it Shadid or something like that? Here we go. Right. Here he is. Look who it is. It is Shadid. Hey, I wondered when you might come by. I'm Alex. Nice to meet you, Alex. The report said you were heading for Neon. I've always wanted to go there. What did you think? Um, uh, it's what's stopping you from traveling. Oh, I can't fly anywhere. Issues with my eustachian tubes. Oh. Being in a pressurized environment is like someone taking a laser cutter to the sides of my head. It's not great. But at least I can pretend to visit the party capital of the galaxy by having you tell me about it. That's fun. My kind of place. Yeah, I bet. It just sounds so exciting and so stimulating. Probably makes Aquila City look like the more boring backwater town in the settled systems by comparison. Alas, I'll have to experience it vicariously through you and the other rangers. Okay. So how'd it go? Turn up anything useful? Yeah, I've got an encrypted slate. Ranger Price says you can crack this. Did he now? Well, in that case, challenge accepted. It's only a matter of time before I know every dirty little secret stored in this thing. Now, if you get any more of these, bring them to me. It helps if I can compare different instances of the encryption they're using. Just Good look for that. me up here. I have no life, so I'm not usually hard to find. <laughs> have fun with that. Oh, I will. I guarantee it. Nice. Okay, so I'm guessing we need to find a few more of those, but we need to talk to Daniel Blake. Let's go do that then. How do we... Oh, God, this place just throws me for a loop every time. Let's talk for a minute. Sure. Welcome back. Any luck finding out who stole that ship from Hope Tech? I was able to track down the thief with uh, Ranger Price's help. Glad you got a chance to meet him. Sounds like you're making real progress. Thanks, I think I'm getting the hang of it. You're off to a good start, but that's all it is. A start. What did you learn from the starship thief? Yeah. First has a money man called Marco and also someone named Maya Cruz. Now we're getting somewhere. Sounds like you've got a couple of new leads to follow up on. I have a guess who Marco might be. I served with Maya Cruz. She's a technical genius and an expert hacker. I can give you some background if you want it, or we can go straight to planning your next move. Clock's ticking. Let's talk about what's next. All right. How can I help? Where would someone go for long-term medical treatment? Most likely place would be the clinic. It's in Freestar Collective Space and provides the best medical services credits can buy. We have been there before. They also guarantee privacy. So it's an ideal place for someone trying to keep a low profile. Ranger Ben Armistead has posted there. I'll send him an update on the situation. Sounds like a plan. Uh, Marco's keeping his location a secret. Where can I find him? Around the time he got out of jail, we started hearing Marco's name in circulation. Word is he's heading up a smuggling racket. Based on what you've learned, I'd presume he's funneling his ill-gotten gains to the first. Ranger Autumn McMillan is out at Red Mile right now looking into the smuggling operation. I suggest you pool your resources. Sounds like a plan. Uh, just remember... That's outside Freestar Collective Space, so we've got no jurisdiction there. I mean, that's enough to go on. Your priority is to gather more intel about the first. What are they planning? Who are they working for? Where are they headquartered? Just remember that your targets were locked up because they were loyal to their unit. They think the Freestar Collective betrayed them. In other words, you ain't going to get a warm welcome, so be careful. Good hunting, deputy. 
Sounds like a plan. I don't think we're in a good spot now where we should probably just leave it. it means that in between episodes I can do a little bit of tinkering with weapons and things like that. And yeah, next episode we will be jetting off to find Marco and Maya at the clinic and Red Mile, respectively. Oh no, I, I got them the wrong way around. What's the opposite of respectively? I don't know. <laughs> but they're in those places. We're going to go the next episode. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. I shall see you next time. Bye for now.